I just, I, I, I can't. I'm tired of seeing people post 10,000% returns on their stories every day buying Elon Shibu coins while I'm losing money every day buying Google stock. I can't take it anymore. The FOMO has defeated me. In this video, we're gonna try to get rich quick, trading sketchy crypto pumping up altcoins. I'm trying to eat too. I'm obviously trolling with that intro, but only slightly, because that's not even far from the truth. For the last few months, we've been seeing these random scammy pump and dump altcoins make people 100% returns in days, creating new millionaires every day. And these aren't blockchain projects that have amazing teams behind them and sound fundamentals. These are coins called Dojilon, Shiba Inu, Tendis coin, and just all kinds of puppy breed variations. So are people really making money with this? I think they definitely are, but people are also making money with slot machines this is basically gambling right you're just trying to hop on these hype trains and ride the pumps then hopefully get out in time before it dumps if you're in a tough position financially where you're running low on cheese please don't look at these coins as a way out because what most people aren't posting are them losing 80 percent of their money when these coins go down which they inevitably do but that said i do want to give this a try kind of see what happens if i lose all my money i'm not gonna hide it and if i do make some crazy gains that'd be pretty sick i'm thinking we started this challenge off with five grand this way if we see ten thousand percent returns i'll be sitting at a cool five million dollars which at that point bad but uh let's dive straight in here i want to first build up a little portfolio of these random meme coins and then what we'll do is actually join some of these altcoin discord groups that pump these coins and hopefully we can make some money trading them and getting in at the right times right before the pumps so i did a little research scanning a lot of these goofy coins can be found on a website called uniswap so i'll buy five grand worth of ethereum on coinbase and then i'll transfer that over to this uniswap website where we'll actually be able to buy the meme coins and i'm telling you every time i bought crypto in one of my videos a few months later i wish i would have bought a lot more at that particular moment example here i am in june of 2019 buying dogecoin at two tenths of a penny if I would have bought $10,000 worth of it at this price, which I had the money, I could have done it and then sold it at a recent high of 75 cents, turning that $10,000 into $2.5 million. Anyways, can't be thinking like that. Let's get some Ethereum onto Uniswap and fix the mistakes of my youth. Okay, so I just bought the 5K worth of Ethereum. Then I downloaded a separate app called Coinbase Wallet, transferred the Ethereum there, and connected that to Uniswap. So now I think we're set. Let me actually try to buy some Dogelon as a test. Okay, so that worked, but I, I bought $100 worth of Dogelon and had to pay $60 in miner fees, which is way out of pocket. That's like 50, 60%. But I mean, I do have a mining rig, so I'm kind of paying myself, really. That, that, that's how I'll justify it. <laughs> so now that we got that figured out, let's look at some graphs. Let's, let's look for some meme potential. I, I don't know. How does this work? How are you supposed to decide which breed of dog named coin you, you choose? Actually got a great idea here. I just took this photo of me dripped out, just absolutely standing there in a nice solid stance. So I'll put that up on my Instagram story with a poll asking you guys what coins I should get into. Okay, so while we have that story running, I'm going to try and find a few coins that I have a personal conviction towards. And I mean, common sense, we got to start off by investing a little bit into Shiba coin, which is that weird dog doge lookalike that I keep on referencing. Oh, and a good thing that I just found out, the miner fee doesn't adjust based on your total. So right now I'm about to buy $1,100 worth of Shiba, but the miner fee is still only $50. So it makes a lot of sense to do larger transactions. Okay, that leaves me with $3,400 still left to invest. So let's see what the people are saying on the poll. Quite a few people are saying Shiba coin. So I guess I made a good investment there. We got Jack from the Jack and Graham Ice Coffee Hour podcast recommending we buy Doge, the Hood Classic. And I'm seeing a lot of other people recommend Doge. So we'll definitely get a little bit of that. Seeing a lot of people recommend ADA, which is the same thing as Cardano. Sounds very similar to Cardone. So I'm hoping we can see some 10x action going on there. We'll definitely have to get into that. Quite a few people saying Safe Moon. The first few people who said this i thought they were trolling saying these nuts as a joke kind of like instead of recommending something they're saying these nuts but now i'm seeing it so many times that i'm thinking it might be an actual coin let's find out if i'm getting trolled or not i, I honestly don't know what's worse if i'm getting trolled or if there's an actual coin called these nuts coin nope there's a these nuts coin tell me we're in a crypto bubble without telling me we're in a crypto bubble anyways i'm seeing some polka dot uh cake so I'll see which of these coins that I just mentioned I can actually buy because some of these are tricky to get. They're not all on Uniswap and I'll check back in once I spend all of that Ethereum. 
Right, so I just finished distributing that $5,000 amongst a few different crypto projects. Here's what the portfolio is currently looking like. We have $500 worth of Doge, 1100 in Shiba, 100 in Dogealon. This next coin, Polka Markets, very sneaky. I tried buying that Polkadot coin someone suggested for my Instagram poll, so I figured Polk, the ticker Polk, is obviously Polkadot. It wasn't. That was actually a ticker for a different coin. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me. You naughty, naughty. But I guess it was meant to be. Everything happens for a reason. So we'll keep 700 in Polka Markets. And then we also have another 750 in GRT, aka Graph Token. And then on a different exchange, I have $450 worth of Safe Moon. And then another $900 on a different exchange in that Grand Cardone coin. Wow. And I'm using a separate app called the Blockfolio to track all of that. And we're currently sitting at $4,500. So we already just lost $500 in like the last hour. But I think most of that is due to all the different fees involved between going from all these different exchanges and whatnot. Warren, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. My social security check is coming every month. I mean, I do not need that. But that's my buy and hold portfolio. Now on top of that, I'm also putting another five grand into my Coinbase account. And with this money, I'll be trading crypto throughout the next week. I'll try to join a couple discord groups follow some crypto twitter pages and see if we can make more money by actually trading some of these uh crypto projects wow so it's been five days a full work week i have not slept but let's get into our results first off the account i was gonna do trades in and join some crypto chat groups and or not took a very dark turn and got me into a pretty mind-blowing rabbit hole i ended up not even trading that account because here's the crazy thing if a lot of these groups were doing the stuff that they're currently doing with crypto but with stocks they, they put you in jail right away no joke there are people currently in jail for similar activities that these guys are doing but they did it with stocks which are regulated whereas crypto is not as regulated but as it grows more popular i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of regulations on it as well so if you run a discord group watch out okay pretty cringe but anyways here's what's happening with a lot of these crypto signal groups and discords i don't want to say they're all the same but a lot of them are doing this so they pitch and advertise these groups to people online saying hey Join our group where we'll orchestrate these pumps. We all agree to buy up a particular small random coin at a certain time, which will pump the price. And they're kind of promising that once that happens, people outside the group will notice this random coin pumping. It'll start trending. People outside the group will buy it up. And the people inside the group will sell their coins at this higher inflated price to all the outsiders. Already a scummy move. With this plan, you're praying and are trying to take money away from the outsiders buying in. Since in order for somebody to win money in a pump and dump scheme, someone has to lose money. But but it gets worse because the outsiders aren't really buying up the coins and losing money. Instead, it's the hundreds of thousands of members who join these groups that are getting finessed. The only people making money here are the organizers of the group. They'll slowly buy up a particular very small market cap coin, the kind where if you invest 50 to 100 grand instantly, you're gonna significantly move the price, aka artificially pump the price. Once the organizers are done slowly buying up a coin and they're happy with their holdings, they announce that, hey, crypto fam discord, this is the next coin we're we're all gonna pump and finesse these outsiders. In reality, as soon as the organizers announce the coin and the group members buy in, pumping up the price, the organizers sell their shares at this inflated price, instantly crashing the coin, leaving the members with a worthless piece of trash coin that they're instantly down 50 to 80% on. So all these members that are trying to finesse the outsiders are actually the ones getting finessed. The organizers are pulling the exact scheme on the members of the group that the members of the group are thinking they're pulling on the outsiders. So that's one way it's done then you also have some of these famous people promoting small market cap coins on their own they're either getting paid by a puppeteer organizing a pump or an influencer themselves can invest like 10 20 grand into one of these coins which for these small cap coins can easily pump them post the pump to their story and then dump on the people getting in from their story yeah so if you have a slightly skewed moral compass and are willing to take people's money boy do i have a cutting edge business in the cryptocurrency space for you i know it's septic seeing people post crazy Crazy gains with crypto I get major FOMO just thinking I, I could have been an early investor into these nuts coin and never have to work a day in my life but most of these things are borderline scams yeah you can get lucky with your timing with getting in and out and that might align with the orchestrators of these pumps but they're the only ones that are really making money with this but that said let's check in on the coins that we bought into earlier this week let's check on that portfolio as a whole remember we started with five grand and turned it into 24 hold on that that can't be right hold on last time i checked this was at 3500 which already was bad but now it's at 2400 that's over that's over a 50 percent loss 
Nope, it actually is right. In just five days, we lost over 50% of this whole portfolio. And imagine if someone invested their hard-earned savings into this. It can be fun investing into these scammy altcoins, but you gotta treat it as such. Please don't gamble your life savings into these nuts coins. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.